I start from the point of view that as a country, we are straining right now. We are straining economically because we are not able to meet our ends. On our speaker, every Kenyan knows how we close the financial year. Very many bills transited to this year, which means we actually do not have enough money. The other day I watched the CS Treasury are speaking to Senate and the kind of confessions that he made that we really have to be very, very careful how we spend the little that we have. On our speaker, we have an entire infrastructure laid out in secondary schools. And on our speaker, these children are Kenyans. If we must take through them through this experiment, then let us be realistic at least for once as a country. Let us realize that we have an, entire, an entirely completed and tried out infrastructure at secondary school which they can immediately occupy. Treasury doesn't have to cough a single coin. We do not have to build other classes. On our speaker, we are doing double development or double provision. We are going to invest in doing class, uh, standard, standard day nine, I mean grade nine classes for junior, for junior secondary school, and then we shall forfeit the form one classes which are already there waiting for children. That is not logical, that is not reasonable. As a country which is training, we are making a huge mistake. We need to be realistic. On our speaker, if it is the name, calling it Junior Secondary School, we can rename it. Let's set, another, set up another committee to come up with an appropriate name to call it transitory. That it is transiting from primary to secondary. It doesn't really matter. We are the ones who are inventing these names. On our speaker, I am of serious opinion that we, we must continue with this experiment on our children. Let us be realistic for once as a country. On our speaker, as you continue teaching children, the advancement of knowledge, you know, increases. The need for inf investment in facilities, in elaborate laboratories, in reagents, in equipment, calls for, you know, attention. And the problem we have right now is that all primary schools in this country, 98, 99% of the primary schools in this country do not have elaborate laboratories, they do not have sufficient amount of reagents. In fact, these secondary schools do not have laboratories. We are struggling as members of parliament trying to guide that CDA focuses on building laboratories for these secondary schools. So if we do not even have laboratories for these secondary schools, people are in form three, form four, and they're preparing for their exams. How can we be talking of establishing laboratories for our own new system that is actually being tried out? Or our speaker, if the infrastructure is already there, let us take the children there. Again, in, 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 uh, on our speaker, we need elaborate libraries. We need libraries that will give these children sufficient material to be able to uh, learn what it is. We have problems with some of the subjects, like integrated science. On our speaker at secondary school level, you find a chemistry teacher, a, 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 a biology teacher, a geography teacher, a you know, teachers are there. We can cause this integration quickly by bringing, guiding them in terms of the principle. Who should be teaching what under the integrated uh, curriculum? Our speaker, let us be realistic as a country. So many of our children are going to be having a very difficult time at learning when without facilities, learning without proper books, and learning without well-trained teachers. It is another issue on our speaker. The grading system. Uh, exceeding our expectations, above expectations, below expectations. We know for sure when our children have to access universities in other countries, or when we have to get jobs in other countries, we are even taken through an examination to get to know whether we understand. And that we have universities that are proven which have given us certificates. Or else speaker in this particular system. And I question, are we really going, going forward or backward? Shall we really deliver Kenyans who are ready for that market or not? On our speaker, I think we need a rethink as a country, and the task force that produced this and it was adopted, I think needs to go back to the drawing board and ask themselves, did we actually do the right thing? On our speaker, I do something. The, the MP for Kasipul, followed by the MP for Gechogu.